Welcome back to CRISPR Corner. Up until now, we've talked about what I'll call traditional CRISPR, using Cas9 and a guide RNA to introduce a double-stranded break at a specific place in the genome and having that break repaired by non-homologous end joining or homology-directed repair. But what if you wanted to overexpress a particular gene or inhibit expression of a particular gene? Can you use CRISPR for that? With the ever-expanding CRISPR toolbox, the answer is yes. CRISPR activation, or CRISPR-A, and CRISPR interference, or CRISPR-I, are additional tools that you can use to overexpress or inhibit expression of your gene of interest. Both CRISPR-A and CRISPR-I use a similar mechanism. Instead of using a catalytically active Cas9, one that could cut DNA, you would use a catalytically inactive Cas9. The so-called dead Cas9 or DCAS9 doesn't cut the DNA, but is instead used to shuttle transcriptional activators or repressors to the genomic location of interest, usually near the promoter region of a gene. For CRISPR-I, DCAS9 alone can be effective at repressing transcription, especially in prokaryotes. In eukaryotes, an effector domain is often used to further repress transcription and increase effectiveness. The most used effector domain is CRAB. The CRAB domain is fused to DCAS9 and recruited to the location of interest by a guide RNA designed for CRISPR-I applications. There, the CRAB DCAS9 can repress transcription by inducing the formation of heterochromatin, making the DNA tightly packed and inaccessible to RNA polymerase. For CRISPR-A, DCAS9 and or the guide RNAs are fused to transcriptional activators to increase expression of a gene. A few different activation systems are commonly used for CRISPR-A, one of which is the CRISPR-SAM system. The CRISPR-SAM system utilizes DCAS9 fused to the transcriptional activator VP64, plus modified guide RNAs that have binding sites for MS2 proteins. In the DCAS9-SAM system, two additional transcription factors, P65 and HSF1, are fused to MS2. Together with DCAS9 VP64, the MS2 P65 HSF1 fusion protein helps to increase transcriptional activation at the target sequence. Like many of our other CRISPR applications, CRISPR-I and CRISPR-A can be used on a single gene or scaled up to screen the entire genome. If you're interested in learning more about CRISPR-I or CRISPR-A, send me a message. If you haven't been able to tell, I love talking about CRISPR and how it can help advance scientific discovery.